Hi, this is Joshua and I wanted to give you a brief introduction to Smoothwall Classroom Manager. First of all, to get started, you'll need to go to teacher.smoothwall.com. Make sure you spell it correctly. I know I spelled it incorrectly and it does not go to any site at all. All right, so now that you're at smoothwall.com, you need to go to the Classroom Manager login. You can log in with Google and you need to log in with your school Google account. So simply click on that button right there and you can log in. All right, once you get logged in, you'll need to make sure that you sync your classes from Google Classroom. Smoothwall Classroom Manager works only with Google Classroom. That means that you need to make sure your rosters are up to date in Google Classroom. When you have students that have left your class, you need to make sure you remove them from your Google Classroom if you're going to be using Smoothwall Classroom Manager. Once your classes are all synced up, then you'll be able to select an individual class and begin monitoring them. If at any point you make changes in your classroom roster, you can simply resync your individual class and it will update your student list. All right, so once you've opened up a class, you'll see this screen right here. This is where you're going to start a session. So sometimes this screen takes a while to load and these names over here may be gray. If, if they're showing up gray, then you just have to wait. There's not anything we can do to make it go faster. Now, before you start your session, you need to check out the end time right here. Make sure that this is within your class period and is not going into the next class period because that will cause problems to your fellow teachers. All right, once you selected only the students who are in your classroom at that time, you can click start session. Make sure that you double check the time and you are not going to be running into the next class period. This indicates how many minutes are left in your session once you've started the session. You can filter the students. If you're looking for a particular student, you can simply start typing their name in this box and from there, you will be able to monitor a specific student that you're concerned about. You can take a snapshot of any of your students' screens while you're monitoring them. All you have to do is press the green Take a Snapshot button. It will store these snapshots in your Smoothwall account, but you can also download them and forward them on to administration if there's an issue with discipline that needs to be addressed. All right, next, you can open an individual student's page to see all of the tabs that they have opened simply by clicking on their name. You can also see what that student's status is based on the little circle right here. If it's green, everything is good and they're online, they've shared their screen. If it's red or yellow, then it may have disconnected or it may be connected. Now keep in mind, that's not always the student's fault. Many times there are glitches or things that happen that cause a student to disconnect and you can no longer monitor them for the time being. All right, so now that you have your classroom monitor open and you have your student screen shared with you, then you can see at the bottom of each thumbnail, this little number right here. This indicates the number of tabs that a student has open. Just because there are more than one tab does not mean that they're doing something inappropriate or wasting their time. Sometimes students will go to Clever before they get to the assignment and or they'll go to Google Classroom before they get to the assignment. But you may need to know what is on those other tabs. So you can click on their name and open up a list of the tabs they have open. All right, you can change the way your session tab looks between uh, thumbnails and grids by clicking this button right here. Next, you can click on the arrow next to a student's name to expand and see all of the tabs that they have currently open at a time. Once you've opened those up, this is very important, you can click on an X and simply close any inappropriate tabs that they have open. I'm not really talking about grossly inappropriate right now, I'm talking about just time wasters. If you have other issues, remember that the student's history is not erasable by the student. So everything they, they do is recorded. And if there ever is an issue that you need to report, that history can be produced for the administration. All right. 
You can take snapshots and you can view them from within your Smoothwall Classroom Manager by clicking on the Snapshots tab at the top of your screen. You can see the students that you have and add or remove students in an active session without closing and reopening the entire session by clicking on the Students tab. All you have to do is click on the Students tab and you can see that you have a list of your students, you have a list of who's connected, who's not connected. You can select an individual student and uh, reconnect them at any time during your session.